great dude. And same thing with uh, Boone from Duke. So it was just a great opportunity. And I think uh, the best thing about it was just the recognition that you got from it. Question for Stephen, Bob Holiday. Uh, with all the great quarterbacks in the league, nobody topped the 566 yards you put up against NC State. As you look at you know, the Taj boys and Rim Renner, who's just in here, Logan Thomas, the other great quarterbacks in the league, how significant is that in your mind? And, and then secondly, how good are the quarterbacks in this league? Um, that whole NC State game still feels a little surreal, just uh, the way how it ended, the way how it started is uh, kind of crazy. But uh, truly, you know, I just got to give all the glory to God. I mean, that's just truly an uh, accomplishment on my record that I'll definitely cherish for the rest of my life. And, uh, hopefully nobody will be there anytime soon, but you know how that goes. But we have a lot of great quarterbacks in this league. So going into the second part of your question, um, I think ACC is really known for the quarterbacks right now. We have a lot of um, great quarterbacks, especially Taj. You know, everything that he's getting right now, he completely deserves it. He had an unbelievable season last season, especially. Uh, finishing the way that he did over a big win over LSU, I think that was huge for number one himself and for the ACC. Uh, Logan Thomas, obviously, a uh, great quarterback, done a lot of great things, uh, a great runner. And Renner, uh, the way how he changed that program around, the way uh, the things that he's doing right now in North Carolina, obviously you guys just talked to him. Uh, a truly humble man, a great person to be around. And, you know, that's something that uh, you really cherish around the ACC. Dan Tora, DTB Media, based in Syracuse, a rivalry that started a few years back, has an opportunity to come back into the ACC now from the Big East with Pittsburgh and Syracuse. Start with Stephen for the both of you. What do you think about that rivalry restarting? I think it's a great opportunity for the ACC to um, branch out, and they did an unbelievable job of, of grabbing those two teams as well. And uh, the rivalry, uh, we, we're going to play Pitt uh, the last game of the season, so I'm excited for that. Uh, never been to Pittsburgh. It's going to be kind of cold. I'm kind of not looking forward to that. But I'm a Miami boy. It's going to be tough. But um, I think it's obviously going to invite a lot more competition. Uh, it's a great experience having to go to Pitt. Like I said, it's my first time too. And I think that it's, it's going to be a great challenge. I can't remember. Do you guys play in the snow? Either of you? Shannon, you first. Uh, at two years ago, El Paso. Uh, Sun Bowl. Okay. It was cold, man. <laughs> uh, by far the coldest game I've ever been my whole life. I think before the game it was snowing, and then right after the game uh, it started snowing. But during the game, thankfully it wasn't snowing bad, so it was still really cold. <laughs> uh, Mitch Carr, WGHP, Fox 8 in Greensboro. Uh, this is the third straight year you're entering with some uncertainty as far as the sanctions go. You still don't know exactly if you're going to be able to play in a bowl game at the end of the year. So how do you approach this, uh, not knowing exactly how the year's going to end? I think we just got to approach it the same way we've been approaching it for the past couple of years, and, and that's just you know trusting Coach Golden, trusting uh, that him, the athletic director, and uh, President Donald Schlitt is going to make the right decision for the university foremost. And I think that uh, they've been doing an unbelievable job of just, number one, being a great leader on this team and helping us and just focusing on getting ready for the season. And, you know, it's my job and Shayon's job and the rest of the guys on our team to just stay focused on what we need to get done. And for me and offense, you know, our biggest thing is just we got so many things to worry about. The NCAA just isn't one of them right now. And, you know, we just let that be uh, the guys who get paid a lot more than we do probably. Shayon, go ahead. you want to talk about the investigation and the impact it's having on you guys? I mean, I'm going to agree with Stephen. I mean, we're focused on focus on other other things like hey, we got camp coming up and the first game at FAU. Uh, start with Shayon and a question for both of you, Jeff from WRL in Raleigh. Um, tomorrow the preseason poll will come out in the ACC and I think you guys will collect a lot of votes. Do you feel that you are a legitimate player to win the ACC and possibly be one of the four teams to play in that playoff when it comes around? I mean, when that comes around, I think that um, I'm really not focused on that same that that possibility, but I'm just trying to get better as a person and, as, and us get better as a team. And that, that that's too far ahead for me to debate on that right now. Uh, I think the biggest thing for us right now is like uh, everyone else is saying, just focusing on having a great camp. And we know that rankings are going to come out all the time, and 
uh, it goes same thing with individual rankings. Um, at the end of the day, you know, it's all about how your team performs, and I think the biggest thing for us right now is just getting ready for camp and having a great camp and getting ready for FAU. Hey, Steven, what's it been like uh, making the transition with a new offensive coordinator? How's that going? Uh, this is my third time, so I got. I guess I should be getting used to it. Um, overall, I think it's fine, though. I think uh, I, I look forward to challenges like that. Uh, increases your football knowledge, and I'm a strong advocate of knowing football and talking about football and, and using the right terminology. So, having three different guys come in has really helped me overall understand.